that into it, sports fans. Thanks for tuning in to our weekly show, Pat It Up. And thanks again to our sponsor, TKO. I'm Fish. And I'm 5am. Hop on down to TKO, Adelaide's only home of MMA clothing with exclusive designs direct from the United States. On this week's episode, we have the last round of the regular season for 2010. While two of the teams have at least one more game in the postseason, two teams will hit the field for just one last time for 2010. Also, check this out. During the first game, we got to see some uber cool lightning during the game. You're watching Pat It Up. Game one and the final week of the Gasser senior season kicks off as the Oilers take on the Spartans. The game started off well for the Oilers as they intercepted the Spartans during their opening drive, nearly taking it in for six. The offense did their job and knocked it in in the next play. The Spartans always had good field position throughout the game, but couldn't seem to do anything with it as the Oilers dominated on defense. To start the second quarter, the Oilers put together a great drive, taking it in for six on a brilliant pass play. On the next drive, the Oilers made a bonehead interception which lost them yards. Lucky enough for them, the offense put together yet another brilliant drive and took it in for six. The second half was a complete stalemate, both teams forced to just kick it to each other, but the Spartans seemed to be the aggressor even though they still didn't score. Despite the poor second half, the Oilers leave winners 21-0. For the very last game of the regular season, the Eagles met with the Razorbacks in a game that could simply be described as whoa. The Eagles came in with a guaranteed spot in the grand final, while the Razorbacks really had nothing to lose. In the first quarter, Eagles got off with a bang, starting off with an intercept, but their drive was short-lived when the Razorbacks got an intercept themselves. The first quarter ended with no score. At the beginning of the second, Razorbacks converted a fourth down for a TD. The Eagles blocked the one-point pat and tried to return it with some lateral passes, but no dice. Eagles had a great drive but fumbled just before a score could occur. Into the third and the Eagles were unable to get anything going on the board. Razorbacks turned that into six points through the air, but missed out on the two. Eagles had a few good plays in the next series and ended the quarter with a passing touchdown and converting on the two. In the last quarter, Eagles were un unable to lift their game to get in front with another score and it was the Razorbacks to pass it in for their last time this season. Razorbacks put an end to the Eagles' perfect season attempt, 20-8. With the season finally over, these are the end of year standings for the teams. The Eagles are number one in the league at 7-1, while the Chiefs and Oilers are tied up at 5-3, which should make for a competitive semi-final game. The Razorbacks finish in fourth at 3-5, and, and the Spartans win the wooden spoon for coming in last and the Pants Down Award for doing so without a single win. Next week, there is only one game to worry about. The semi-final between the Chiefs and Oilers will commence at 7pm with the winner going on to meet the Eagles in the Grand Final. Thanks again to TKO for these awesome tops. I'm 5am. I'm Fish. And tune in next week for Finals Fever Padded Up.
Come on, sir. Come on. 